Hello friends, welcome to my video. In this video, I am going to teach you how to wire and work the current controller. The current controller protects electrical circuit against access current. Here we have a contactor that we use to disconnect and connect circuits. We also have a digital current controller that we want to talk about. All these tools have three holes through which the three phase wires pass and their current is measured. They also have several bases to which the wire of the common circuit are connected. First, we go to the wiring of the power circuit. We assume that our consumer is a three phase electric motor and we want to control its current. First, we assume that the three main phases are connected to the input of the contactor. Now we want to connect its output to electric motor. These three output phases must be connected to the three phase electric motor. But before that, we must pass these three phases through the current controller holes so that the current of the wires can be measured and controlled. Now we can connect these three phases to the electric motor and the power circuit is complete. Now we assume have a single phase electric motor and we want to control its current. The single phase electric motor includes a null wire and a phase wire. So the input of the contactor must include a phase wire and a null wire, which we assume are connected. Therefore, we connect one phase and one null for output of the contactor. In order to control the current of the electric motor, we must pass the phase wire through the first and third hole of the current controller and then connect it to electric motor. The phase and null wire must be connected to the single phase electric motor in this way. Now we go to the control circuit. In the control pins, there are two pins N and PH to which the phase and null wire are connected and turn on the current controller. Pin C is the output of the command phase, which means that one phase wire must be connected to it. The NO pin is the normal output pin. That is, if there is no error, the pin is connected to the C pin, and if the C pin is organized, the NO pin is also organized. 
Therefore, we can use pin NO to connect the phase wire to the contactor coil. The NC pin is the opposite of the NO pin. That is, when an error occurs, this pin is organized by the C pin. Now we are wiring the control circuit. First, we connect the phase and null to N and PH pin. When phase and null wire are connected, the device turns on. In this step, we will set the parameters of this device. The first parameter is the upper current limit. For example, if it is set to 10 ampere, if more current passes through the wires, the circuit will be cut off. The second parameter is the lower limit of current. For example, if it is set to 3 amperes, if the current is less, the circuit will be cut off. The next parameter is the symmetry of the current. For example, if it is set to 10%, the circuit will be cut if the three phase current are more than this value. The next parameter is the connection delay. For example, if it is set to 5 seconds, the circuit will be connected after this time. The next parameter is the interruption delay. For example, if it is set to 3 seconds, if an error occurs in the current, the circuit will be interrupted after this time. The next parameter is similar to the previous parameter, with the difference that the cutoff delay is for current symmetry fault. The next parameter is the delay in calculating this current. For example, when it is set to 4 seconds, the current is not calculated for 4 seconds after the electric motor is turned on. To save the setting, it's enough to turn off and on the device once. Now we go to the continuation of the wiring of the command circuit. We connect a null to the contactor coil. We connect a phase to the base C and we connect a phase from the base NO to the coil of the contactor. With this, the command circuit is complete. When the current is normal, the contactor is connected. And when an error occurs, the contactor cuts the circuit. This tutorial is 
finished. If you like the video, please press the like and subscribe button. Good luck.